This is an entry to the IEEE IBM Smarter Planet Challenge 2014. In this video, we introduce To Be or Not To Be, a project using mobile and cloud technology to monitor honeybees in the hive. In recent years, various bodies, including the European Union and the United Nations, have stressed the growing constraints on global food supplies and prices. Honeybees have been identified as the most important pollinator insect for food production. To logically describe the problem, we present it as a Boolean equation. Less food and less bees equals to be or not to be. George Boole was the first professor of mathematics at University College Cork and is regarded as the father of symbolic logic. Food, and by extension the honeybee, poses a fundamental question to humans worldwide. To be or not to be, the famous Shakespearean quote, contemplating life. Honeybees have held a critical role in human life throughout history and are a keystone species in many ecological systems. Retaining bee populations is critical for keeping tables stocked with high quality, nutritious and diverse produce. The opposing trends of increasing food demand and decreasing pollinator numbers severely threatens crop yields and consequently human and animal populations worldwide. Bees also ensure the survival of many plant species which have co-evolved alongside their insect pollinators. To protect the international food supply, as well as maintaining the smooth running of the global agricultural sector, it is clear that the honeybee populations need to be protected and afforded opportunities to grow. This has been acknowledged by many important people throughout history, including Albert Einstein. So, what can we do to help? Our interdisciplinary team have proposed a multifaceted solution which provides bee data on a unique scale. By combining big data collection and analysis, mobile technology and wireless sensor networks, we plan to develop an innovative, energy-neutral smart hive which can autonomously monitor the activity of the bee colony and conditions within the hive. As for the data security, this is provided by cryptography present in the various protocols of communication and data storage. Honeybees are also vicious when protecting their hive, which includes our data. The unobtrusive nature of the data collection provides a picture of hive conditions at times when beekeepers have not previously been able to assess their hives, for example during the night, heavy rain or during the winter. So far, we have implemented a single deployment of our proposed system using the Libellium Wasp Moat platform, Zigbee radios, a range of gas and hive condition sensors and a 3G GSM radio. The recorded data are uploaded to the cloud, where they can be assessed by data analysis tools on a PC, tablet or a smartphone. The existing deployment senses a wide range of conditions within the hive, including carbon dioxide, oxygen, temperature, humidity, chemical pollutants and airborne dust levels. It utilises solar panels for energy neutral operation. From here, through the insights from the biology and food policy students, as well as the data from the existing deployment, we will identify other useful sensors and sensor combinations. These ideas will be incorporated into the development of a second deployment on the UCC campus. Finally, the data from the second deployment will be available for analysis and evaluation. We hope you like our idea. Thanks for watching.